I'm Hannah Wallace and welcome to Finextra TV. We're here at Money 2020 Europe and kindly joining me now in the press lounge is Louis Valditch from City Ventures. Hello Louis, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you Hannah for the opportunity. No problem at all. Um, so yes, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your role and responsibilities at City Ventures but also why investing in fintech is so important for the industry? Absolutely. So. Um, I'm based in New York and I'm responsible for the City Ventures New York office as well as for our investment activities, particularly in fintech um, in the US, in Europe and, um, and also Israel. And it is uh, very important uh, from our perspective to be an active uh, participant in the you know, shaping of the future financial services industry. Mm -hmm. And obviously participating in uh, the FinTech ecosystem is key for that. Um, as you know, City is a 200 plus years old um, organization, you know, a leader in many spaces, but there is massive uh, disruption happening and it's very important um, as such to you know, participate in that and to figure out the optimal way uh, for the future. Right, well, leaning on from that quite nicely then, um, could you highlight some of the trends you're seeing in this space, but also how City's approach to venture investing uh, is having an impact on the fintech industry? Absolutely. So, the, uh, the major trends, um, obviously digitization is, is a massive one, and, uh, and that's related you know, to the increased uh, you know, convenience that the mobile phone has brought to our, to our lives, as well as you know, to you know, the cloud and the power of computing. Mm -hmm. And with, with all those things coming uh, together, you know, including machine learning, uh, AI, um, you see opportunities to deliver uh, services in ways that you could never have done before. And these not affect, uh, not, not only affect uh, financial service, but frankly, every facet of our lives. But at the same time, financial services are present in most facets of our lives. You know, city serves clients in every, you know, industry you can imagine, and they too are being affected by these types of trends. Mm -hmm. So from that standpoint, it is for us, you know, very important to help make sure that not only we can provide, you know, the best, uh, you know, services to our clients, but also we can help them, you know, shape the future. And our clients include not only incumbent uh, organizations, but also many of the, we call them digital natives, you know, the next gen of companies are taking advantage of all the new technologies to deliver, you know, unique services uh, for consumers. So there's going to be a sort of a widespread impact, um, but focusing on sort of the banking um, industry, but also the market, do you think um, there's going to be space for all these banks to sort of coexist in the future? How do you see banks evolving in sort of the next 20 years, say? Yeah, no, it's, it's a great question. and. From my perspective, there's going to, you know, be, uh, you know, accelerated, you know, disruption in the uh, in the banking industry, and who, you know, 20 years from now will continue to be, you know, the leading banks in the world, will likely change quite a bit depending on how are they currently placing bets, uh, who are they partnering with, how are they reinventing their own business, which is why, uh, from our standpoint, it's so important to have groups uh, that are focused on innovation, focused on partnering with startups, you know, making sure that, uh, that, that you're not complacent at the time of such significant change. Certainly some very exciting developments ahead, though, it's safe to say. Uh, Lewis, thank you very much for coming and speaking with us. I'll let you get back to the event. Great. Thank you, Hannah. Thank Great you to much. meet you.